<laughs> Here's a question from Butter Noodles. What qualifies a god as a god in Sonic? Is it a matter of worship or is it more so power? If power, what separates something like Dark Gaia against something like the Bio Lizard? Uh, I think it's a very gray area, but it comes down to worship and acknowledge it more than anything. Like Chaos was not a god. Chaos is a mutant chow. But the yeah. power and the destruction he unleashed upon the Knuckles tribe was remembered by the survivors and the witnesses, and they saw, you know, that and went, Woo, that's a god of destruction, because what else could do that kind of power? It must be a god. Whereas the Gaias are more traditional godlike beings, immortal uh, embodiments of the very nature of light and dark, good and corrosive negativity and resetting the world and yada, 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 yada. But again, they were remembered by the survivors of each cycle. It was chronicled and thus they were remembered as godly beings. Bio lizard was an experiment locked in the basement and then died five minutes after getting let out i was gonna say was not bio lizard just an exa another example of man's hubris yeah pretty much <laughs> the same goes for like metal overlord you know yeah. he popped up for the 10 minutes it took for team super to kick his face in so pretty much it, it's more of uh exposure and popularity that makes you a god i suppose mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we all know Big the Cat is the one true god of the Sonic well, yeah, yeah, universe. Yeah. I mean, duh. 